Hello, my name is Salma and I am the school counselor at Malvern College. Today we're going to discuss some healthy and effective communication tips to use with our little ones, especially around the ages of three, four and five. Um, it is our job as parents to ensure that whatever information we are relaying is actually provided at a level that can be understood. And I know this may require a lot of patience and consistency, but it also may be the answer to a lot of our behavioral issues. Our first tip on the list today is establishing healthy communication practices. Now, essentially, healthy communication practices are going to be somewhat like house rules. And this allows you and your child to create strategies on how to discuss behavioral problems and their solutions. Essentially, I'm going to give you an example. You might want to create a designated spot in the house where you can sit down and both discuss the unwanted behavior or the tantrum that just happened after a cool off period. And this gives you a chance for you and your child to first communicate, bond over the problem, and also discuss other alternatives for how they can better respond next time. Moving on to our second point, you always want to keep it short and sweet. You don't need to get into a lengthy discussion about why this behavior is unacceptable. All you need to do is keep it short and keep it specific. Our third and most important point for today is offering limited choices to your child. So when you offer unlimited choices to your child, like what do you want to have for dinner, it can lead to unwanted conflict, especially when your child hasn't yet developed the skills in order to make a good choice. So what you want to do here is actually narrow it down to two good choices. For example, you want to ask your child if he wants to clean the room before or after dinner. Essentially, either choice he makes is still a good one because either way he's going to get it done. So let's go over what we discussed today one more time. Our first rule that we talked about was how to establish healthy communicational practices such as house rules. For example, we had mentioned how to have a designated spot in the room to discuss behavioral issues and their solutions after a cool off period. Our second point was how to keep it short and sweet. You don't wanna get your child lost in the details of what you have to say. If a behavior is unacceptable, it is unacceptable, simply said. And then our last point was giving limited choices. Give them two good choices that you would be satisfied with and allows them the autonomy in order to feel like they are responsible and can make a choice on their own. All right, thank you so much. I hope you've learned something new today and I hope this helps you communicate better with your children.